Go to the picket line live now with our East Midlands supporter, Will Hollis. He's in Lincoln uh, this morning. Will, what's going on? Yes, good morning, Eamon and Isabel. Well, this is the building where all of the ambulance services as well as fire and police head out onto the busy roads of Lincoln. It is a busy road, especially right now, because of, it is, of course, the morning rush hour and uh, behind where our camera is, there's cars fleeting back and forward. And for the majority of this morning that we've been here, we've been hearing lots of noise from those cars because it does seem like there's a lot of support for these ambulance strikers and the people that are on the picket lines behind me and the person that's representing to many of these people from the GMB union, which are the ones that are on strike here in the East Midlands Ambulance Service Trust area, uh, is Colin Todd. Colin, what does it feel like when you get that support, but are you getting criticism as well this morning? Well, it's tremendous. The support we've got, as you've already said, this morning has been fantastic. Every car's tooting their support, and uh, I think the public are right behind us here. You think the public are behind you? Do you think that there's probably going to be some criticism because people worry about whether they're going to be able to get an ambulance if maybe they fall down the stairs? I know things like cardiac arrests are guaranteed, category ones are guaranteed, but how do you justify potentially putting some people at risk today? Well, we, we agree derogations and exemptions with EMAS management and we have a very good relationship with them. We always try and work it through and uh, we did on the strike on the 21st of December. In fact, it was the best performing day of uh, the month when we was on strike. Uh, people weren't calling 999 unless it was a life-threatening situation and that's the same today. But as you can see over there, we've got ambulances ready to go. We've got these heroes on the picket line who are ready to go if needs be. So these ambulances, if there was one of those emergency calls, would literally dip out right behind us? If needed, most of the ambulances are kept at the back of the building, but these ones are for specifically for the picket line. So if uh, the manager at the site wants one of the pickets to go to a job because they haven't got anyone else, then they'll come and talk to them about that, and that's where, why, why they're ready to go. And then just very quickly, what's your message for Steve Barkley, the health secretary, in order to get this sorted out at the moment? Well, he's actually come and spoke to us for the first time, so that's a start, but actually he needs to put something on the table. But it's a much bigger picture than just pay. Pay is a big issue. People are leaving the service because of pay, but it's actually a bigger issue. It's about the turnaround at the hospitals. It's, you know, the, these guys can sometimes spend 8, 9, 10, 12 hours at, at A&E waiting to hand over. That's not good enough for the people of Lincoln or the people of the East Midlands. We, we don't want that. My members here, these heroes, they want to be saving people and looking after them. What they don't want to be is in the car park at Lincoln A&E or Kings Mill or, or wherever, waiting to hand over. So, so there's a whole big issue with the NHS. They're saying they're going to try and uh, put sticking plasters on it with porter cabins. Well, that's a start, but it's a much bigger picture than that. Colin, thanks for talking to us this morning. Um, the advice very much today is if you do have an emergency, please do call 99, but for everything else, call 111 or look online at how you might be able to get the best help you might need today. Will, okay. thank you very much indeed. Live from Lincoln there.